Have you ever heard a piano that's out of tune? Well, it sounds kind of like this. Wow, oh, sounds awful. And I don't just mean my playing. Even if I could play the most beautiful piece of music, there'd be no harmony in it because the piano's out of tune. Well, what if you thought the whole world was out of tune and there was really no harmony in it at all? Sometimes it does seem like that, doesn't it? Well, we can read about some friends in the Bible who felt a lot like that. You see, about 3,000 years ago, the prophet Elisha was the main prophet in all of Israel. Now, he had a bunch of students, just like most prophets did. In fact, he had so many students that he would set up schools throughout Israel and he'd travel between them. Now, one of the main schools was in a town called Gilgal, which is about 20 miles north of Jerusalem. Well, not long after Elisha becomes the main prophet in Israel, the Bible says there was a dearth in the land. I find your lack of faith disturbing. No, I said dearth, not darth. Uh, dearth, it's like a famine. Well, during this famine, Elisha decides to go visit his students in Gilgal. Remember, he had a school up there. Well, when he gets there, he realizes they probably haven't eaten in a while because there's a famine going on. So he tells his servant to prepare a stew for everybody. Well, the servant tells one of the younger students to go get some herbs for the stew, you know, to make it taste good. Well, while this student is out, he discovers not herbs, but a cool vine that has some little vegetables or gourds growing on it. He thinks this will be great. So he rushes back, he chops them into pieces, he throws it in the stew, and he mixes it up, and then everybody comes and sits down and eat. Well, they take a couple bites and pfft, oh, this is awful. And then they realize that those gourds or the vegetables that the young student had put in were poisonous. Well, Elisha doesn't freak out like everybody else does. Instead, he grabs a handful of grain or flour, and he throws it into the pot, and then he stirs it around. And then he tells everybody to sit down and eat. Well, they do, and they're just fine. So what do you think was going on there? You think Elijah had a little magic powder that he put in the flour, and then he threw into the stew that made the stew okay to eat? Or maybe there was some uh, chemical in the flour or the corn that caused a reaction that neutralized the poison. Well, I suppose that could be, but I think there's more to it than that. I think Elisha recognized the natural harmony of God's creation. You might call it the natural harmony of spirit. It's sort of like when a piano is properly tuned. It doesn't change the music and it doesn't necessarily change the piano player, but it allows us to hear the music properly. Well, that's what I think. What do you think? You think I'm crazy? Why don't you post your comments or your questions down below?